Okay, let's begin. I'm going to put up wallpaper. That's what I call it because I want to present a perspective that I'm asking you to accept so that you'll understand where I'm going with this. And the wallpaper is because then we will all be standing in the same room. And so here's what I want to say. Every single dream is an interior problem-solving conversation that takes place between your unconscious and your conscious mind. And this discussion is a problem-solving discussion, and it gets triggered either by something that happened to you yesterday, or it's something that you thought about yesterday. And so my goal, because we know that at the first level, I'm not going deep, not yet, the first level, if I know that it's triggered by something that you thought about or something that happened to you, I have two goals always with the dreamer. The first is to know the right questions to ask you so that you can tell me what's the subject you were discussing with yourself when you had the dream. Because once we know the subject, then we can go back in the dream and look for the solution that appears because you get the solution to something that's bugging you and it arrives in the dream before you get it consciously. So if only you could know what the heck you were saying to yourself, then actually you can propel your problem solving skills. And so this is not a psychic experience where you tell me your dream and I tell you what it means. No, it's a psychological approach. So you tell me your dream, I ask you a series of questions that help you tell me why you had the dream. And so in order to accomplish that goal, I developed a six point of entry system that helps you uncover what you were saying to yourself. And so I wanna say at the outset, I'm gonna tell you what the six points of entry are. And I also want to say that when you hear a dream, even your own or somebody else's, you want to tap into what point of entry attracts you because that's where you're going to begin your questioning of yourself or the person that you're discussing a dream with. Because you will find there's no such thing as a wrong point of entry. They all work and they all might get you somewhere different. So here they are. They are the feelings, the action, the symbols, the repetition, the puns and play on words, and finally, the plot. And so as I go through in depth, each one of those six points of entry, you will realize that sometimes I'll be talking about one point of entry like the feelings, but it'll turn out that another point of entry appears inside the same dream. And so I just want you to take note of that because I'm giving myself permission as I go section by section, I'm going to interject other points of entry that may appear inside the same dream because I want you to get used to the rhythm of what it feels like to do a dream.